All right, I was gonna make a little video here about how I set up and drill my barrel pins. This is an oversized trunnion, so it's just, this is just for visual reference. Never, ever, 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 ever will I drill a barrel pin hole with the trunnion not riveted into the receiver. I never, ever do that. Since it's not a head spaced kit already with the hole in there, I want to put the hole in here, but I want to mimic and chase the hole that is in this trunnion or whatever trunnion you're using. This one's oversized, it's just for reference. How do I mimic that hole and not have to go oversized? to make sure I have a clean hole. Well, this little way I come up with doing it on my mini mill, I did it on a drill press too, so it does work on a drill press, but you don't have as much real estate here you know, like you do with this little mini mill. Plus I have a DRO, so this is like a, just a fancy drill press for me. I want to get this pin here lined up with the center of this channel. Obviously you can eyeball it or whatever. Now this is going to be loose and stuff because and so when I actually do some stuff, it's going to move around on you and be like, oh, it's not in line. Well, it's just because it's so freaking loose. Typically, after this is riveted in, you press this in, get it head spaced. It's not going to be flopped. I mean, look how much it flops around. Anyway, with that pressed in there and a riveted, uh, riveted into the receiver, put it in the hole there. You get it all squared up where I need it. Kind of halfway. I don't ever 100% tighten or snug everything down. Sometimes these barrel pin holes are not drilled perfect. Gee, go figure. Sometimes that barrel pin hole is drilled that way. Well, that's where the V-block comes in handy. The V-block, if you were to rotate this, of course that would spin too. If it was pressed in, it's not it's oversized. That would get me get my barrel pin correct this way. That's great. What if your barrel pin is out? this way. That's exaggerated. But what if it's out that way? That's why you need to keep this loose. Once I get all this bottom part in a line with this V-block, make sure I'm butted up back there. I get this all in a line. I have a pin here, the pin in the bottom. This is on here. Once I get, I'm happy here with this being in a line. I can snug this down, tighten it up. Both sides obviously. I don't want to tighten one side and it kicks on me or whatever. But uh, I'd get that tightened down. I could take this back off. And then I could bring this pin here down. As you can see, it's way off. I can visually eyeball where that needs to go now. But I have a sleeve here that just fits this and it fits this one. So if I bring these down, just a little bit like my quill right there so I can use both hands. See, it doesn't go up. That means I'm bumping. And I can... Now these two are in line within a thousandths or two. That's actually pretty good. Doesn't bump on there. Makes it all the way down, so we're good. Now I know that this is aligned. Now that I know that's aligned, since I have a DRO, I'd zero it out right there. But uh, like I said, this would be riveted into a trunnion. This would be pressed in so it wouldn't flop all over the place. So it's still going to move around on me, even though when I show you it's tightened up. We know we're good here. And this is the point now where you can bring this down. And you'll see it all move because, like I said, this is loose. But if it needed to. I know I'm good right there. I could snug everything down. Even if I had to. It wouldn't go in that hole if it was off front to back. If you leave it loose here, you can kind of just slightly shim it or whatever you want to do and then snug it down. You just have to play around with it until you get it where you're happy with it. And once you're you know happy with everything, it's all snug down. Last thing you want to do is have something off that when you tighten it down it well, now your hole's not going to line up. You can see the hole here is lined up. I'm in the pin here. I'm in the hole there. Like I said, it's moving because it welts. Look, it's loose. It's just for visual reference. Okay, I know I'm good right there. Snug it down. You can have every, tighten everything up, you know. If you have to, you could barely loosen it up. Make sure 
relieve any pressure, see if you're off anywhere. If you're happy with it, this is one of them things where you check it like 15 times. Make sure you're good. When you loosen that up, it should just pop right out of there. It shouldn't grab. If it grabs, you're off. If you can't mm, pull it out of there, pry it out of there, something's off. It should just go right in there. Now with that all, everything's locked down. I could undo this piece now. I'd undo it from both sides. And now I can move my... Of course, it's all going to move because it's not pressed on there. But anyway, I'd move that. And then I could remove my pin from here and then I'm ready to drill. And that's how I line it up. You always got to be able to make this where you can remove it. And that's how I would do it. I've done quite a few of them like this now. And it's worked beautifully. The hole is perfect. I can use the same size uh, barrel pin hole. I've had guns before that had an already oversized pin in them. And I needed to rebarrel. And it had like a, a 312, you know, barrel pin in it already, 5 16 well, you don't really go any bigger, so I need to use that size pin without trashing the trunnion or fixing the hole in the trunnion. How am I going to chase that? This works perfect for that. Obviously, these pins here will not work for that. I'd have to make oversized one to work. But as long as your barrel pin holes are normal in spec size, this works. has worked flawlessly for me so far. From time to time, you will be unfortunate and have one that one side is completely blown out. If you're really unfortunate, both sides would be blown out. Here's a Polish trunnion. It has one side. Fits right up in there. Look at that. Woo! Perfect. Flip it to this side, though. It's not going. <laughs> well, crap. It's just things you can come up with, you know. See, it doesn't fit that one either. But it does fit that side. As you can see, that the hole in this one slightly egged. It's not perfectly in round. This side here, it could have been, they may have started drilling on this side and the drill walked around. There's no telling what happened. Maybe it's been redone a few times. This one here is a spare that I bought. I've never installed this one on a rifle. And if they don't even have a bullet guard, I stole it out of here for another gun. But uh, this one's never been installed. It was just an, a spare one I bought a while back, either from Apex or I think it was Apex or Arms of America. I can't remember. It was a long time ago. It was a few years ago I bought this. But that's how the hole is in here. It's got a nice snug hole on this side. And it's blown out on that side. Not really blown out, but... It's not perfect. So you would have to compensate for that if you had a setup like this. Maybe a pin here. You can tell if this one is slightly tapered, even though it still doesn't fit. You may have to sand it, file it, or whatever while it's spinning in there until it fits. or what, Just whatever particular one you're working on, you just never know. But this one here, you know, it works fine. It fits the whole... I, I used emery cloth in a uh, lathe and got them where they just fit. But not every single rifle trunnion, the hole, will be the exact same. You know, they're not they're not precision. It's not they're not going to be within a few tenths of each other. They're going to be a few thousandths of each other. So, just for whatever particular setup you got, you're just going to have to compensate for that. But this is the best way I found to align the two pins get everything lined up and drill a perfect hole.